Hello everyone, I'm Christiana, you're watching PokerNews.com and welcome to our coverage of the Season 11 World Poker Tour Malta Main Event. Now of course we have just covered the WPT Grand Prix de Paris. We actually flew in yesterday and yesterday was Day 1A which got a field of 64 players and by day's end there were only 34 remaining. Here's a look at the leaderboard. Your chip leader is Casper Toff with 123,600 in chips. He's followed by Andreo Dato with 106,300. And running at the top five is Jonathan Roy with 94,100 in chips. A few of the big name pros competing in yesterday's field who have made it to day two include Team Poker Stars pro Jonathan Duhamel, Dan O'Brien, as well as Phil Helmuth who had a certain someone standing behind him all day. Now today, of course, it is day 1B, and I didn't have to look far to find a very stacked table, and it includes Steven Ben Zettelhoff, Kara Scott, Jeff Sarbor, and Ronnie Barda. So far, we've got eight tables of players, but we are expecting many more players to file in throughout the day, including Vanessa Selfs, Jason Mercier, and Tony G, who's got a very big day. Not only is he supposed to play day 1B, but he's also supposed to begin his triathlon versus Phil Helmuth. Their first event is going to be today. Now, if you missed it, we actually announced this last week in Paris. Here's a little clip. Well, Phil Helmuth has decided to take me on. Uh, we've thrown him a very reasonable challenge. Uh, he's accepted it like a man. Although bikes are involved, which is probably gonna save him even as you probably get bike, but we are going to do a triathlon sponsored by the World Poker Tour. It's going to be an amazing triathlon. Tony G versus Phil Helmuth. We're going to swim, we're going to run, we're going to play basketball, obviously, because I'm from Lithuania and we're a basketball mega country, so I'm going to destroy him there. In swimming, we got Ruta Melutita, the gold medalist, so there's no, there's no issues. And he's got Michael Phelps and he's going to be tied to his backside probably to have any chance. That's it for now, but stay tuned into PokerNews.com for all your live updates, photos, chip counts, and of course, videos. I'm Christiana for PokerNews.com.